to your eyes I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line Hi guys! Welcome to a new DIY video It's been a little while since I've DIY'd So I'm very happy that I have time today to actually do that um, It will be a quick one um, like a mini DIY, but it's just something that like an idea they had I had the other day and I really wanted to try it out and I'm happy to report it works. Today we are making um, like mini scarves or I guess, how do you say that? Upcycling the scarves that we no longer use as actual scarves. So let me explain that a bit further. Um, I love these type of style scarves that you have for um, bags and your hair and so on. I feel like they're quite versatile, apart from decorating your bag or protecting a handle uh, or using them in your hair. You can also use them elsewhere, right? You could, for example, uh, mark your travel bag if you're checking luggage. You can mark it with a scarf to make it more visible to you when it comes through on the other side. Um, so there is just a bunch of places to use this. Um, yeah. And then the question might be, why not just use a regular scarf? Well, I have a regular scarf here that I am not going to uh, <laughs> cut into today because I, I like it the way it is. Um, when you do, when you try to protect a handle, for example, with a regular scarf, it just becomes way, 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 way too bulky. Like it doesn't look nice. It becomes way too, uh, yeah, bulky. So what you do is you actually cut some of that bulkiness out and you make a long scarf string. I have already tested on this first scarf that I have. So the finished product looks something like this. Um, and luckily I have a second one today that I'm not really using. So you and I are gonna cut into this one. But uh, let's get the video started and then I'll take you through it step by step. It really is incredibly easy. So, here we go. All right, what you need in order to be able to make a, should we just call them a bag scarf or a string scarf? Let's call them a string scarf or bag scarf, whatever. Um, in order to make one of these, you um, just need a scarf that you are no longer using but might still need or like the, um, the pattern or color of. So I have that here. Um, and then you also need sewing machine and a presser. I have bought myself a new <laughs> presser. I've made it my next thing, I guess, to really learn how to press properly. That might sound wild for someone who's been sewing for as long as I have. Uh, the only thing I know is that pressing is important and I do use pressing a lot, um, but I'd like to use it more as a technique as well to make it easier when I sew. Um, so I bought a new one and you can, can see it right here. Anyway, um, the first thing to do is that we're gonna fold these babies in half and then fold them again and then cut them. And then the second thing we're going to do is that we're going to make the first, um, the first few stitches. It's just a two-step process to get them uh, to look like this, sewing-wise, and then the pressing added on top. So, all right. You need an old scarf, you need a sewing machine, and you need a presser. Here we go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to cut the scarf. Um, you can see the leftover pieces here of my uh, other scarf that I've already sewn. So what we're essentially using is the part here in the middle. Um, I thought that it was a little bit easier said than done to just eyeball it. So with my next one, I'm actually going to be quite particular about cutting it so that I get a straight edge. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is uh, cut it. So what I'm doing is... I'm finding my center and then I'm folding it crosswise like this so I get the big triangle and now I'm actually going to fold it again I'm gonna fold it all the way up like this so I get a quarter of a triangle of what our original scarf size is 
And then, like I said, this one turned out just fine. Like when you cut it uh, or when you use it on your bag or tie it in your hair, you're not gonna see that it's not 100% straight. But I do want the next one to be really, really straight. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna place some fabric weights here. And then we're gonna cut just around uh, 10 centimeters or eight or nine centimeters um, up this way. Uh, and that's gonna give us enough seam allowance of about a centimeter, one and a half centimeter to be able to sew later on. So let me cut this one and then I'll come back. with is this long string um, and the next thing we're gonna do is actually sew. So um, you put the right sides together like so all the way down and then we just start in one end and make our way with a single stitch all the way down. Uh, remember though to leave like a five centimeter gap somewhere along your sewing uh, line so that you can turn um so that you can turn the string right sides out uh once you're done sewing falling in love you set my wheels in motion i'm going crazy for you i feel like the ocean together so still wrong sides out I've left my little gap right here so that I can turn it inside out later um, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm actually gonna press it um, so I'm gonna press uh, these edges down I'm gonna press the seam allowance down so that it both makes it easier for me to turn it um, but also so I have a little help uh, closing this closing this hole later. I've chosen to put my opening somewhere like a little bit on the middle of it because once you tie it, like if you tie it around your neck, that would be in your literal neck. <laughs> if you tie it around your bag, it will be somewhere in the middle. It's easy to hide. Um, yeah, so I've just uh, I've put it here um, just to make it easy to hide. And now I am going to press with my brand new presser. <laughs> down again so that it's nice and flat the last thing to do is to find find my opening which is right here I'm just gonna give it a tiny little stitch across 
so that it's nice and neatly closed. Um, and that's really it, guys. Um, let me just do that and then I'll come back to you with the final result. Here it is. This is how the second one turned out and I'm quite happy with both of them actually even though the other one was a little bit wonky. <laughs> um, I put the other one on the handle of my Kelly so just tied it really around to protect the handle. You can see one version here as well where I've tied it kind of like a, like a little bow tie um, with a twist and then I have the last one. So. There we go. That was really it. I just like the fact that I'll now be able to get a bit more wear out of these scarves. Um, if you follow the channel, you know that I have uh, curly hair, so I have quite a bit of silk scarves to protect my hair, both when I'm sleeping or when I've been wearing it. Um, but I also just like that look of um, silk scarves in general added to your to your look i have a bit of leftover material as well so let's see what i'll do with with this but um that's for another day all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you uh, next monday i think we might be making earrings but uh, let's see all right bye Look into your eyes, I see we're out of time Did what we could, my friend, but now we're at the end